Hello, I'm John Sanders, Director of the Benefit Coordinators. We serve you, employees of the federal government. TBC is an educator of your benefits and a tool for your financial goals. Today, let's talk about a topic that is not only crucial, but also fascinating. Retirement planning. <laughs> yeah, I know. Specifically, we are delving into the intriguing debate traditional TSP versus the Roth TSP. I am excited to guide you through the intricacies of making the right choice for your retirement journey in 2023. Imagine this, you are at a fork in the road and each path represents a different retirement savings strategy. On one side, we have the traditional TSP where contributions are made using pre-tax dollars, giving you an immediate tax break. On the other hand, the Roth TSP beckons inviting contributions from after-tax earnings with the reward of tax-free withdrawals during your golden years. But which path is the right one for you? Well, hold tight because we're about to uncover these answers. Let's delve deeper into the core of this debate, and it's the tax implications. With the traditional TSP, it's all about the present. Your contributions lower your taxable income for the current year, meaning you pay less in taxes now. However, the twist comes when you are ready to retire. You will be paying taxes on your withdrawals. Now, the Roth TSP takes an entirely different route. You are investing with after-tax dollars. So no immediate tax benefits, but the payoff? When you're in retirement mode, your withdrawals are genuine, genuinely, generally, can't even say that word, generally, tax-free, provided you meet certain criteria. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about your strategies. Picture this, you are beginning your career and your income is promising, but not at all at its peak. This is where the Roth TSP comes in as your ally. By paying taxes now, you're positioning yourself for a tax-free withdrawal later on. And here is a nugget of wisdom. If you can predict that tax rates will rise in the future, the Roth TSP could be your secret weapon. Folks, I can guarantee it, tax rates will go up in the future. Oh, and for the high earners, it's not just about the information that we're providing is for rookies, it's about you too. If you are butting heads with the earnings limit for a Roth IRA, the Roth TSP could be a game changer in maximizing your retirement savings. But hey, look, do not make up your mind just yet. The traditional TSP has its own set of charms. Are you a fan of immediate gratification? Your contributions will lower your current taxable income, which can be a golden ticket for present day tax relief. And do not forget when you are withdrawing during retirement, you will be in a lower tax bracket, possibly, right? This is where your traditional TSP will shine. And guess what? Contributing to a traditional TSP could open doors to tax credits and perks like child tax credits and higher IRA contribution limits. Your gro adjusted gross income plays a starring role here. Now for the real game changer, tax diversification. Ever wish that you could have your cake and eat it too? Well, you can. By using both traditional and Roth TSP accounts, you are essentially building a diversified tax portfolio. Imagine a scenario. You need to minimize your tax bill this year. Hello, Roth IRA. And when your tax bracket allows for it, you could lean on your traditional TSP. It's like having a financial toolbox that adapts to your needs. But before you jump into action, there's more to consider. Let us explore the factors that could sway this decision. Dreaming of a retirement haven with no tax income tax or in visually envisioning settling down in a state with high income tax rates? Well, your choice between a Roth and a traditional could mean a difference in your tax obligation. Passing on wealth to the next generation 
thinking about that, well, hold on to your hats here. This could be the tipping point. A Roth IR, a Roth TSP ensures that your heirs will not be burdened with taxes when they inherit from your account. Accessing your funds, a critical aspect. While you can dip into either account at age 55 or even earlier for specific careers, Roth TSP withdrawals become tax-free only after you hit 59 and a half. Do you have big plans that require a big chunk of change? Here's a tip pulling a huge sum of money from your traditional TSP could significantly increase your taxable income. A Roth IRA might be your ticket out of this predicament. So let us not forget about required minimum distributions, RMDs. Traditional TSPs have them starting between ages 73 and 75. The silver lining, Roth TSPs get a free pass, no RMDs to worry about. Crunching the numbers, the IRS has set the contribution limit at $22,500 for 2023 with an additional $7,500 for those 50 and older. These limits are a combined total for your traditional and Roth TSP contributions. And for those of you who love matching contributions, here is a twist. The government's match goes into your traditional TSP, leaving your Roth account without the match. Drum roll please, it's time to make a decision. The choice between traditional and Roth TSP is not a one-size-fits-all scenario. It's a journey tailored to your financial situation, retirement aspirations, and your predictions about taxes and income. The benefit coordinators are here to be your compass in the realm of retirement planning. Our goal is to help you make the most and make an informed decision, one that perfectly aligns with your unique circumstances. And remember, if you're seeking personalized guidance, the benefit coordinators are just a click away. And that is a wrap for today's deep dive. Until next time, stay empowered and get ready to embark on your ultimate retirement journey. Thank you for watching. TBC has created a handbook. It is available to help you understand the complexities of your benefits. It is available on Amazon, or by contacting us. If this video has helped you, press the like button. Subscribing will help us and pressing the chime will notify you of our new posts. I thank you for your service.